this is a pretty special evening for us. Uh, as you look around the airport, one of the things that's going on is a great deal of renovation and some restoration, which we didn't choose to do, but a tornado did. But we've got a lot of things going on. And throughout the whole process, one of the things that was really critical to all the team here at the airport was to, prever to preserve some of the gems that existed. So we have this great iconic terminal in the front facade and a copper roof, all those things which to us were very important that we keep. But the other thing that kept rising to the top when we were talking about the gems that needed to stay at this airport was our mural, Black Americans in Flight. It was commissioned in the late 80s and it was installed in 1990. And it was the last piece of commissioned art at this airport until recently. And one of the things that we're doing with the whole renovation of the airport is to show how prominent art can be in a community. And especially when you take a look at the significance and the importance of this mural. So we are so honored to have you all here this evening. We are so honored to be able during Black History Month to rededicate what we think is probably the most outstanding depiction of the Tuskegee Airmen in this country. So with that, we've got a good program. We have a lot of people to introduce and to, to hear from this evening, so I'd like to get things moving. Our first guest this evening that I'd like to introduce is the mayor of the city of St. Louis, Mayor Francis Slate. Yeah, I'll put it right here. Well, thank you, Rhonda. And uh, I uh, certainly appreciate Rhonda and all the efforts that she and her great staff here at Lambert International Airport does every day to help make this airport work for all the visitors. And it's good to be here with all of you this evening for this very, very special occasion. And on behalf of the people of St. Louis, I'm pleased to uh, join with you and to welcome you tonight to the Black Americans in-flight rededication reception. And I want to uh, extend a special welcome to uh, Mr. Christopher Newman, one of the original Tuskegee Airmen. It's good to have you here. And We will hear more about Mr. Newman's uh, experiences in, in just a few moments, but uh, Mr. Newman, I want to thank you and all of your colleagues for your great, wonderful service to our country. We have all benefited by your sacrifices and your bravery. Thank you so much. And I also want to uh, recognize and welcome uh, the uh, various uh, relatives of the uh, original members of the Tuskegee Airmen as well that are with us. Thank you, and uh, thank you for uh, your uh, relatives' um, contributions and uh, dedication to all of us in our country. Millions of traveler, travelers and visitors come through um, this uh, airport, and we know now they have in the past, and now we know that they will have an even a better chance to see the rich history and heroics of the Tuskegee Airmen and other African Americans uh, who have, uh, through flight and aviation, uh, represented this country and have served our, our country and our public. Uh, when they come through this airport, each and every time people, each and every time someone comes to the airport, they get an opportunity to view this mural and to be reminded of the wonderful uh, contributions uh, and bravery that African Americans in flight have uh, contributed to our country. And thanks to the airport experience renovation, the mural now has even an even more attractive home. And I'll tell you that I'm real pleased to be here with my colleague and friend, Charlie Dooley, who is, um, he and I work together all the time on city stuff, but the airport is something that we both have in common. It's a city-owned and operated facility, but it's located in St. Louis County, and the county does partner with the city to help make this the very best. Uh, Charlie, it's good to be with you. I neglected to say that when I came up here. I uh, was running a little late, and, but I wanted to make sure I recognized Charlie. You know, St. Louis is proud to showcase uh, the achievements of the Tuskegee Airmen uh, to the entire world, as well as to other African Americans who uh, serve this country, as I said, in flight. This mural is a shining example of the common interest in aviation uh, among us all. And I do want also want to recognize someone that uh, uh, I have, uh, I, I serve with at the Board of Aldermen, Way Mr. Wayman Smith. He, he and I work together at, as members of the Board of Aldermen, to, hard to believe, um, quite some time ago. And of course, he's been a prominent St. Louis and, and really was involved in helping make this uh, become a reality. So I do want to thank you for your leadership, your involvement, and uh, not only with this, but 
all the other things you've done for our community over the years. Thank you, and it's always good to see you, Wayman. In honor of Black History Month, uh, let's celebrate the rich history that we are fortunate to have permanently displayed here at Lamarin Airport. So thank all of you for being here. Thank you for joining with us for this very special occasion, and I know that uh, you're going to enjoy the rest of the program. So at this time, I'll turn it back over to our airport director, Rhonda Homnibriggy. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Next, I'd like to introduce our county executive, Charlie Duty. And as the mayor said, we count her very, very closely with both the city and the county, obviously, here at the airport. And, and Charlie's always a big part of everything we do. So, Mr. Dooley? Let me say good afternoon to all of you. I'm extremely happy to be here. Uh, first of all, to my good friend, Mayor Francis Slay. We do work together on numerous activities because it's the right thing to do. Secondly, uh, I'm, I'm a little bit shorter than Rhonda. She's better looking, but what the heck? It's expected. But I am extremely happy to be here for a number of reasons. First of all, uh, we should be representing uh, Black History Month in the month of February. But let me be very clear. African Americans in this great country contribute to this country every single month, every single day. This is just set aside for unique recognition. So I'm extremely happy, and the thing that really makes me really feel good about this is that when Rhonda first started talking, she said, you know, every chair is taken. It is true. Every chair is taken. That is a good thing. Thirdly, my good friend, uh, uh, Mr. Newman, oh, what a wonderful thing. He waved his hand. He goes, you know who he is. It's a good thing. Uh, <laughs> this is good. We have some of the Pruitt's family here. What, some of the Pruitt's families? Pruitt, right here. And the Briggs? Any Briggs family here by any chance? Okay, outstanding. It's good stuff. We all come together. I mean, this is really a unique situation. Say again. White. Hugh White. Hugh White. Yeah. Well, they're going to get me now. You start naming names, you get in trouble. <laughs> Lovely. The, the Whites, thank you so very much for being Billy here. Holloman. Billy Holloman. Billy Holloman? Mm -hmm. Right here. Right here. Mm -hmm. I'm fine. Okay. Well, see, well, I'm going to tell you what that means. My staff only gave me three names to talk about, <laughs> so that's what I'm going to talk about, those three names, okay? okay? Uh, I, I, before I go any further, me okay. introduce John Bates. Where's John at? He's the director of St. Louis County Spirit Airport. Airport. Thank you, John, for being here. You know, give him a hand. He deserves that. We have Thurman's daughter here and Taylor's daughter. Thurman and Taylor's daughter is here as well. Raise your hand. There you go. But I do remember when we first did this mural some time ago. I actually was working at McDonnell Douglas at that time. And so I actually know Thurman, so we remember all these things. It was a great day. It's still a great mural. And it is really something to be proud of in the St. Louis. When you come in this building, it's one of the first things you see. It is simply outstanding. And to rededicate this thing is even more important. So on behalf of St. Louis County, I want to congratulate all of you that's connected with this. It is a good thing to do. But remember this. But all sincerity, even though we put one month, we contribute every single day. We bring value to this great country, and we have a lot to be proud of. Let's not think of just February. Think of what, as a holistic type thing, is we contribute every mm -hmm. single day. Thanks so very much for being here, and have a great day. Thank you, Charlie. We always appreciate your, your kind and funny remarks always. Thank you. <laughs> there are a number of people, you know, like any great project, nothing gets done without the help of people who are dedicated to projects. And bear with us because there are several people in the audience who were key to not only the idea of putting this mural here, but commissioning it, finding the funding. So we'd like to take a few minutes to honor those. So I'd like everyone to raise your hand. You don't have to necessarily stand up, but uh, raise your hand. Claire White is the official, is the official, is the wife of the original Tuskegee Airman, Hugh White, and who is also pictured on our mural. Mrs. White, her daughters, granddaughters, and other family members are in attendance tonight. So. And you were on my list, Ms. White. <laughs> Bianca Taylor is the daughter of the late Spencer Taylor, who co-painted the Black Americans in Flight Mural in Asylum. Dylan Lemons is the wife of the original Tuskegee Airman, Milton Lemons. Mm -hmm. 
Adolphus Briggs is the brother of the original Tuskegee Airman, Major John Briggs. The family of Billy Holloman, the original Tuske Tuskegee Airman as well. There's the family of Billy Holloman. Okay. And as I said earlier, you know, it took a lot of effort and a lot of people's talent and time to bring this to reality. Wayman Smith, who worked for Anheuser-Busch at the time, was the AB was the primary contributor to the making of the Black Americans in Flight and helped to raise additional funds for the project. Wayman's now retired, but remembered in our hearts and here with us this evening. <laughs> Thelma Cook was a fundraiser and a marketing advisor for the mural with Vesta Pruitt. She engaged 7-Up to make a donation. She and Wayman together served as the catalyst to make the Anheuser primary donor. <laughs> Leroy Grant, who is now retired from Southwestern Bell, but coordinated all their philanthropy areas through the PR department and a big contributor as well. <laughs> McDonnell Douglas, obviously now Boeing, was also very, very instrumental in this. As you know, Brian Scott, their director of quality, is with us this evening. Is Brian here? Somewhere. And we have several others on, on hand. So if all of the Boeing family could raise your hand for your great contributions, we appreciate that. And last but certainly not least, Monsanto was a key contributor to the mural. And this evening we have Oscar Berryman here representing the Monsanto group. So again, it takes a lot of time, talent, and effort for people to raise funds. It's never easy, and so we're so grateful and thankful, and we're happy to be the proud recipients of the mural. We'd also like to recognize members of Scott Air Force Base who are here. I think we have Lewis Lynch. Oh, the, the chapter of Lewis Lynch, I'm sorry. And the chapter of U. White as well. So all those from Scott Air Force Base, thank you. We also have a, uh, a commission uh, that uh, helps support our airport here and helps us guide us and move us through. And we have a number of our commissioners this evening. So we have Mr. Nash, Tom. We have Jack Stelzer. We have Bob McNutt. We have John Bales. As County Executive said, he also runs the Spirit of St. Louis. So he and I uh, work very closely with each other. And did I miss any of our other commissioners? No. OK, great. Uh, Maddie Moore, the Deputy Director from Senator Claire McCaskill's office, is with us. <laughs> I think we have uh, Alderman uh, Jeffrey Boyd, Sam Moore. Jeffrey? Is Sam here as well? Okay, Sam's here, right? And did I get all the aldermen? I don't want to miss anybody. Okay, and then we have several reps here from our um, state reps. We have Chris Carter, we have Tommy Pearson, Missing anybody from the state rep? Please raise your hand. I don't want to make sure I don't miss anybody. Okay, great. And we also have Damian Trusada here, who uh, in Governor Jay Nixon's office. So <laughs> Damian here as well. I think as many of you probably have have heard, or as if you know, Vesta Pruitt was the founder of the Black Americans in in flight. Unfortunately, Vesta is no longer with us, but her two daughters are, and I'd like to have them come up and have a few words to say this evening. So Vesta and Judith. Judas and Crystal. We'll get it here. Vesta <laughs> uh -oh. is probably here. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I, in fact, I know she is. Uh, good evening, everybody. I think everybody has been named, but I have a few people, it won't take but a second, that were very instrumental in the very beginning, not to take away from anybody, that helped my mother and helped the whole group and were very supportive. Walter Lathan, who is a very good supporter, who now lives in South Carolina. Sylvia Elliott, who is no longer with us, but was a big help. Chris Newman, of course. Luther Boykins, who at that time was on, on the airport commission. Luther helped us a big deal. And other members were Marge Amagetti, John Cry, Cry Stevens, G.S. Albarisi, J. Kim Tucci, and Frank Cusimano. A lot of these people were people that really supported us and helped us to be, you know, be able to make this thing go. Uh, I helped my mother go to different corporations 
to uh, raise the funds for this uh, organization. Uh, again, Thelma Cook was very instrumental. Bunny Mitchell at Flashman Hilliard at that time. I don't want to leave anybody out because these are the people that really were with us from the very beginning. Clara White and the Tuskegee Airmen. And you know, I can't, I can't even think. And all of our friends. Thelma Sutton, who is no longer with us, who was very instrumental in helping. Um, all I can say tonight is I'm very proud to uh, have this crowd of people here so they can see the mural. Uh, I'm gonna turn this over to my sister, my big sister, <laughs> although I'm, you know, I'm a little taller than her because she's never here when things are going on, so I'm gonna let her, she likes to do all the talking. So I'm gonna give it to her. She's gonna tell you something about Uncle Wendell when he used to come and visit my mother and father in St. Louis in between going from, you know, on his trips. Uh, I was like probably three years old, and I can vaguely remember. I, the only thing I, well, anyway, I'm gonna turn it over to Crystal. And again, thank, thanks everybody for coming out and, and uh, you know, tell your friends and everybody to come and see this. I enjoyed it. I hope I, I hope I didn't leave anybody out, but we had a lot of help and the support of the community, and the whole key to this was for everybody in the community to support each other, for St. Louis to be shown and showcased to let people know across the world that uh, we have some very good people. A lot of these people were from the Ville, from the Ville. You know, my uncle lived right 4569 Garfield and uh, all the people, a lot of the people on this mural lived in that area and they were, and they were good friends. So I'm gonna turn this over to Crystal Pruitt and uh, let her take it from there. Thank you very much. Good evening, everyone, and again, thank you all for being here to share this momentous occasion uh, with the airport and our family especially is, of course, very, very um, emotional about this. Uh, I'm Crystal Pruitt and the niece of Wendell Pruitt, who's number 44 on the mural in the center there, and he was my favorite uncle, needs to say he was so handsome, you know. <laughs> And as we all know, we're here to rededicate this awesome mural, Black Americans in Flight, a historical tribute to the achievements of African Americans in aviation. In 1984, my mother, Vesta Pruitt, decided that there should be a mural to commemorate the African Americans in aviation. And when my mother, those of you who knew her, or when she made up her mind to do something, there was no stopping her. She wanted to ensure that the story of the black aviators was included in the historical narrative. It was indeed an uphill battle, to say the least, and a long road that many thought would never end. Right away, she got started with one dollar from a friend. She began her trek knocking on doors, leaving no stone unturned. Corporations, private organizations, churches, politicians, neighbors, friends, and family alike, until she convinced them all to step forward and support the mural. And as you can see, they did. <laughs> Through her dedication and perseverance, she was successful in raising over half a million dollars to fund this project. And in 1990, six years later, the mural was unveiled here at Lambert, St. Louis International Airport, its permanent home. Many of you may not know this, but as you look at the mural, you may want, as St. Louisans, you may want to focus on the center panel. It's dedicated to those Tuskegee pilots and crewmen who were St. Louisans, 28 in all. As a result of this effort, in 1994, my mother and the camps committee received recognition from President Clinton in the, in the form of a plaque from President Clinton and the Congressional Black Caucus for their work on behalf of the Tuskegee Airmen and the mural. Moving ahead a little bit, in the year of 2000, I joined United Negro College Fund Special Programs Corporation. And while chatting with one of our directors, Gil Knowles mentioned the mural and showed him the airport booklet. 
for the next two years as he traveled to minority serving institutions, colleges and universities. He told the story of the mural and used the booklets to inspire and motivate both students and faculty. He distributed close to 1,000 of the booklets. A real tribute to the work my mother did, the mural, and a tribute to our St. Louis family. Going forward, I'd like to ask that let us ensure that the courage and bravery of the black aviators that inspired this mural continue to inspire each of us today and tomorrow. Let the legacy continue. Judith and Crystal, thank you so much. That was beautiful. Thank you. You know, it's great to have the mural, but had we not had the men involved with flying it, we would not have the mural. And we're so, so grateful this evening to have one of the original Tuskegee Airmen with us. He has flown 84 missions as a fighter pilot in World War II with the original Tuskegee Airmen. His plane was shot down over the Adriatic Sea. Mr. Christopher Newman survived and was rescued six hours later. Let's please give him a round of applause as we welcome him to the podium. Accustomed as I am to speaking, and after all of this, I'm speechless. <laughs> I uh, appreciate all of your goodwill and everything, and I'm I'm, I'm amazed at uh, all the praise that I've gotten here in the last two days. <laughs> I, I, I never realized I was so important. <laughs> I didn't do anything but what I was supposed to do. <laughs> and uh, that was our job, and we did it very well, I guess. But uh, I appreciate this. I've never been in a spot like this before. I would like to thank everybody here. Those of you who don't know me, I thank you twice. And. I appreciate the effort, and I'm internally grateful for it. Thank you. Thank you. We can all only hope we look that good at his age. So, <laughs> and in case you didn't know, this afternoon we had uh, several schools with us. We had over 100 school children to come and visit this afternoon and learn about the mural. And both Solomon and Christopher spent the afternoon, so he's had a long day, and uh, we, we're very grateful to all his time and patience today as we, uh, as we recognize this great afternoon. Well, the next individual I'd like to bring up is Solomon Thurman. He's a native St. Louis and a very, very gifted artist, researcher, and teacher. His work is inspired by the world within and around him. He holds a liberal arts degree from Forest Park, a graduate of the Graphic Commercial Art Institute, and a graduate of the Webster University's Fellowship in Community Arts program. Solomon has been painting for more than three decades. He and the late Spencer Taylor were commissioned by camps, as you heard earlier, from the Committee for Aviation Mural Project Success to, plank, to paint the black Americans in flight. As camps, President Vesta Bruett directed and administered the concept and the creation of the mural, Solomon researched and co-painted with the late Spencer Taylor. So let's welcome Solomon Thurman. Thank you, Rhonda. I mean, so much has been said about this mural uh, before me coming here that I don't want to go back over that type of information. I think one of the things that I can do as far as contributing to the discourse of today is to talk about the actual painting of it and what happened as a result. Uh, what we, Spencer and I was given the commission to do the mural and to talk about and bring up information about the African-American involvement in aviation experience. 
as we were bringing, getting that information together and gathering that information, we created the outline. And the outline is pretty much what you see here as far as the individuals and also the aircraft that's behind me. But our task in painting a mural was actually a physical thing. Uh, we worked inside Spencer's two-car garage. And what I'm trying to do is paint a picture of what that was like. Uh, to go into a two-car garage, move the cars out and everything, and set everything up, bring in two-by-fours, buy a huge canvas that was 10 feet high and 80 feet long that was pre-primed, and we cut the canvas as we needed it and built each one of those panels as we needed it. Uh, as we sketched out each one of the panels going by the outline that we had, we had the job of actually painting it. Spencer was the general. I was the lieutenant. <laughs> that was pretty much our, my role. Uh, my introduction to Spencer was in his work. I met Spencer's work in 1972 when I was working at McDonnell Douglas, and I would see his work all throughout McDonnell Douglas, uh, but I didn't know Spencer, and my goal was to meet him. And some two years later, I got an opportunity to actually meet who he was and see where he worked and the environment that he worked in. And the amazing thing about Spencer was that he was a lefty like our president. He painted, with, drew with the left hand, and it was amazing the way he contorted his hand. And he would look at what he was doing as he was drawing. Just imagine this. Let me, I, I need to show you, to tell you this. If you take a piece of paper like this, Spencer actually drew and painted vertically like that as he painted it. If he was writing a letter, he would write the letter, turn the paper like that, and actually write it. It was amazing, you know, just to see it. But anyway, as uh, knowing Spencer's work, the opportunity of mural came up. And I told Spencer about it. He and I got together and tr contacted Ms. Pruitt, and we submitted a proposal to do the mural and started working on it. It was something that I always wanted to do. And knowing Spencer 10 years before doing the mural and actually painting the mural and working with him every day made me know that a human being could do that. Because when I saw what he had actually done, never seeing him actually doing it, it was something amazing. But to physically see it gave me confidence in being an artist because I knew that if this human being can do it, I'm a human being too. I should be able to do it as well. <laughs> But it took me some two years to try to at least mimic his style. My job as the lieutenant, he being the general, was to block out all the images. In other words, establish the highlights and the shadows of each one of those images. And Spencer came behind me and detailed it. And that's how the process was. Uh, as he went along, he would detail everything that I did. Spencer told me, he said, I want one of these portraits to be a portrait that you do that I don't touch. And that was my goal, and it took me two years to do it. And there is one portrait and one aircraft in here that Spencer didn't touch. And I'm willing to share that with you if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> and Marcella Hayes is that individual. And the helicopter, of course. I could not paint the aircraft the way Spencer painted aircraft. Because again, he was a unique individual and a master painter. And I had never, I've studied literally thousands and thousands of artists in books and have known artists personally in practicing art since the 60s. And have never known a person who could paint the way he did. The amazing thing, the way he painted in his style was as he did aircraft, the aircraft would be a line drawing and he would complete the painting as he painted it. So if you saw half the painting done, the other half would be just a blank, and the second half would be completely painted. And he would continue it through until he got to the end, before he got on to the next aircraft. I've never known anyone to paint like that. And I asked him, why do you paint like that? <laughs> why don't you just paint everything one color and then just start you know, building it up? And he said, why waste the time? You, know, you can finish it as you go along. And he thought that you can get realism as you attack each one of the elements personally. As you saw, one of the things about aircraft is aircraft generally has no color. You know, it's aluminum, 
and what it's doing is it's picking up reflections. So he has a sense of what the colors were around the aircraft as he painted it. So that was the amazing thing about his contribution. And what he did for me was he gave me the confidence in being an artist so that once I started painting and once I got through with this mural, I felt like that I could do anything too. So I'm indebted to what Spencer taught me. And he taught me mainly because I think he said that everyone needed help. He needed help when he was coming up and he was just passing it forward. So I want to thank Spencer for what he did for me. And I hope you appreciate the efforts in which we've done here behind me. Oh, yeah. And this is a, when, uh, in 1998, September 1998, Spencer left us and passed away. And as a tribute to Spencer, I did a portrait of him painting a mural. And this is a way for me to remember what he had taught me. And this, this is that painting. Uh, one, I, I am going to tell you the obvious. The obvious is that on the mural behind me, there are two names, Spencer Taylor and <laughs> Solomon Thurman. <laughs> the reason is that I came to the garage one day, and we had finished painting the mural. We were about to deliver it, and he was signing the, the, uh, the names. And he had gotten through most of them. I think he was signing the last panel. Spencer Taylor and Solomon <laughs> Thurman, you know. <laughs> and uh, he said, I, you know, I just, I wanted to put this on here before you got here <laughs> without trying to explain to you why I'm doing it, you know. So I said, okay, Spencer, I appreciate the fact you even put my name on it anyway, you know. <laughs> Thanks for that. So when Spencer passed and I did his portrait, I painted my name, Solomon Thurman. <laughs> <and Spencer Taylor. laughs> But I still wanted to remember him. So. Okay. Thank you. One of the cool pieces, and thank you, Solomon. That was a fascinating story. It's nice to hear someone who was really here and a part of it. But one of the neat pieces that we're doing as part of the rededication this evening is that this portrait will also be installed in the mural and will become a permanent part of the mural. We are, we are, we're thrilled uh, to be able to do that and to be uh, a small contribution, I think, to, to this great historic. We can add one more piece to it. We also have a small token. I mean, for those of you who came up this evening who were registered, we did have a token of this evening uh, that we gave you in a coin, and we also had some of the booklets that I think both uh, Judith and Crystal talked about, so we have those as well. But we would like to invite up Solomon, Mr. Newman, and, then, and Crystal and Judith for a small presentation and token of our appreciation for being here, Man. sharing, and helping making this a success. So in be on behalf of the city of St. Louis and St. Louis County, we'd like to thank Mr. Christopher Newman for all of your efforts and all of your hard work during those 84 missions that you flew. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And for those of you who don't know where he's at on the mural, I bet you he could give you a personal view in just a minute and show you exactly where he's at. <laughs>